Oh. Uh, oh. Oh my god. Oh, oh sh oh sh oh sh oh uh -huh. Welcome back to Legit Reviews, the show about two guys who give you legit brews and give you legit reviews. Oh. I'm Matt. Yeah, I like that. I'm and I'm Trevor. And today we're drinking. I don't know how to say that. Uh, how do you say that again? I don't know. Rodenbach Alexander. Yeah, I think it's uh, Rodin or Rodin. I think it might be Ro Rodin. Rodenbach, like, like Rodin, the, Rodin, Rodin, Rodin. Like the Godzilla monster. Ro okay. Rodenbach. We we apologize as usual as per usual for pronunciation. <laughs> we apologize. Uh, yeah. Rodin or Rodenbach Alexander, aged in oak. Fodders? F uh, fodder, fo fodder? Fodder? Probably Fodders. Fodier. Fodders. Fodders. It's a Flanders ale. It's a red mm. ale. Uh, okay. You want to read this this description here that it says? Because no, no. Why you, don't you read? Why you, don't you read it? Well, you thought you read it. Why, why don't you? Why <laughs> you thought, don't you read but it? you thought the word was no, funny. You earlier. read it. No, you. <laughs> no, you read. It. No, you read it. You I read don't want to read it. You read it. No, I did. I did find it funny because I didn't think that it was just gonna say. Red ale macerated with juice from sour cherries. Macerated's a fun word. What does macerated mean? Does I don't that know. mean it it's sounds like, like like mutilated, but not? That's what it sounds like. It sounds like it was lacerated with cherry. red like, ale mutilated I with think it means juice mixed. Hold on, let's see. Let's let's look that up. Yeah, let's. Hey Siri, what does macerated mean? Oh, do you have you? Hey Siri, no. what does macerated mean? That's not mine. That's mine. Jamal, I'm okay. Jamal. Jamal. Thank you. Sorry, that was Jamal. <laughs> hey, Siri. <laughs> Jamal. Jamal, please. He just keeps going. Is he done? Jamal, you done? I think he's done. I'm just okay. gonna I'm just gonna look it up manually. <laughs> soften or become softened by soaking in a liquid. Okay, so they soak the the sour cherries and then they provide the juice from them. A red ale it macerated sound, with juice from sour cherries. Yeah, it's it sounds more um, violent violent than it really is. Okay, okay. so uh, this I think it's a five point five. 5.6 ABV? 5.6. 5. 5.6. Yep. Um, yeah. Contains barley and 6.5% cherry juice. Um, Rodenbach Alexander is based on Rodenbach. It's in cursive. Yeah, the cursive is small. Rodenbach Grand Coup, which is then macerated with juice from sour cherries. This fruit ale is characterized by a uniquely balanced, sweet, sour taste, fully cherry aroma, and a complex aftertaste fruity, I can, I can fruity read, cherry aroma i can read cursive okay I don't remember, I don't remember. it's very it's small very small, very small fruity yeah fruity cherry aroma <laughs> and a complex aftertaste rodenbach alexander is the memorial ale for the co-founder of the rodenbach brewing tradition bringing a legend back to life oh rated pg-13 what Oh. Let's get into it. You want to yeah. op open yours first? Yeah, let's. Uh, oh, yeah, like, you like the you like the uh, dude. I love the, the cap. Honestly, yeah, I was oh, gonna yeah. say the cap was really you cool. I just it mutilated it. I just smashed the shit out of that thing. Uh oh, hey Mike, here it comes. Oh man. Okay, yeah. hold on, hold on, Matt. This one is uh, oh. macerated less than oh. that one. Oh sh. Here we go. Bums work. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh my god. Oh. Oh sh oh sh oh sh oh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. You got too cocky with it. It's what you deserve. I did. I did. I wanted to head it up a little bit. Uh-huh. I'm still okay. I didn't make a spill. Yeah, you're I didn't okay. spill it on my pants like somebody. There we go. Oh, you spilled some <gasps> on oh. your pantalones. All right, well. Here, let's get this get this rest in here. How do you oh. have more? <laughs> No, Paul. We've been through this. <laughs> L yeah, no. Two weeks ago or whatever, it was, it was a fluke, right? He bought it again, Paul. Two times. I think we're gonna it. have to oh, stop oh. having Trevor buy the beer because at <laughs> this point he's <laughs> seeming to think that I'm getting the bottle that has the more, <laughs> more <laughs> shit in it. Seems bullshit. 
That had more. Look. I'm just saying. I know, how, I know how to pour better than him, apparently. I don't know. I don't you know, know how to. The... You know how to have Mike swap your bottles out right. behind my back while I'm not right, looking. Right, Mike? Right, Mike? Yeah, all right. High five. All right. So Your mother never loved you, Mike. Oh, that's not nice. Um, okay, so we got a little, we got a little ruby, Ooh. a little ruby color to it. It is ruby. I smell the feet already. Oh, I'm I haven't smelled the feet yet. <laughs> yeah, it is a, kind of a. It is, yeah. Like it's a, a little. Like if a you ruby don't red. get out of here, Nancy. Sorry, <laughs> Nancy the gnat is so bad, dude. She's so bad. I swear to I God. Of, when you said that, I thought of Freddy Krueger. <laughs> yeah, it is a very ruby Ooh, red, kind of an orangish color. It's a frothy top, man. Yeah, All frothy right. top. That's, uh, That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, yeah. There's that. that Those on. fermented cherries. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, it smells like cherry. <laughs> it smells like cherries put some boots on and walked like a mile <laughs> and a half in them. No, and like a, more like a hundred miles. hundred miles. Mm. Oh, mm. man. Mm. Yeah, it smells nice, though. For our foreign friends, Georgia is a very hot place. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay. All right. Here we go, guys. We're going? Okay. Cheers. Let's uh, go. Yeah, I'm Roden, ready. Roden, Roden, Roden. Alexander. Alexander. This goes, this shout out to Alexander. Shout out to Alexander the Great. Here we go. God rest his soul. God rest his soul. Mmm. Whoa. Well, that's more complex than I thought it would be. Right? Mmm. Wow. 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 That's not half bad. So you're actually hit with like this the tart the tarty mouth pucker. Tarty bee flavor. Tarty bee slaps you in the face right out of the gate with her cherry donk. <laughs> tarty bee twerking in your face. Tarty bee twerks her <laughs> cherry tarts in your face. And then it gets it gets sweet after. But yeah, it gets sweet, but it's also real like it's easy to it's easy initially going down. But then it's like, ooh. But it isn't too isn't <clears throat> too sour. Like it's not like sour candy. Mm-mm. No, not like sour candy. Mm. I don't even know what I would God, this is really good. I'm um, I'm glad you like it. This is really good. I'm tempted to like really finish this. <laughs> Cause while I'm drinking it, I'm like, God, I want, yeah, more. I want more. I just it, wanna yeah. Wow. So this was available in a singles. I got it from the, the, the warm shelf. Okay. Um, yeah. And it, it, it colded just right. See, it says store and serve cold. Store and serve cold, which the store did not do. Mm-mm. So uh, so we got it a little cold. Um, but uh, no, this this is was like $3 or something. $3 some change a bottle. Okay. Woo! And what are what what are they? They're um oh no okay eleven point two fluid ounces. Oh, crafted and brewed in mm. R- Rosalaire, Belgium. So they didn't give you a full twelve ounces. You got eleven point two, so you better enjoy it. Uh yeah, they robbed you of an ounce. Wow, um, this is. I'm what are you to thinking? Pick some more of this up. What do you think? What are you um? What are you thinking in the terms of? Because uh, I know you like you've you've kind of had to make some adjustments for sours. Not that you didn't like them, but they weren't like a go to style for you. Like, how are you feeling this point in the game? Um, in with 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 sours, uh, are you feeling different than initially how you felt about them? Because I know you've kind of ex- expressed some different opinions. Yeah, I am. So with with this with this style in particular, and and the Flemish sours. I am kind of finding a place, but if it's just like a, like a, you know, a sour ale that's crafted by this craft sure. brewing company, yeah. I, I tend to not like those, mm-hmm. but companies, companies, but breweries like, like <clears throat> Rodenbach that have been around for forever, um, and they really know their stuff. I really like this. I, mm-hmm. I, I like this. I like the other, the other Flemish, uh, sours we've had in the past. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm coming to like this style a lot. Like this is when I think, when I think of a sour, I want to think of Rodenbach. Yeah. Yeah. And Flemish does seem to be a, a very big, um, style of sour, sour ale and stuff like it that. It seems to be their thing. That's their bag, baby. Yeah. It is their bag, baby. <laughs> ah. I would agree. Um, I I natively like sours. I always talk about the palate cleansing aspect of it and, and how, you know, sessionable they often are. They're very drinkable and things like that. This one definitely 
There's almost a bubblegum taste to it. The, the cherry taste is very... It's almost like being able to taste as much of the cherry without physical mm-hmm. like cherry texture as you can. Sorry to cut you off, but I just noticed that. I'm sitting here like... Like, that's kind of bubblegummy. It does have a really, really, really good taste. Um, this, for me, would definitely be within my top... I would say top three sours, honestly. Yeah? Um, and I, I'm not super... Um, conditioned on sours outside yeah. of the show, I haven't really had a lot of a whole lot of access to sours. Um, but this definitely, I would say, would be in my top three. I am very impressed with the uh, macerated process. I don't know because I've never had anything that claimed to be macerated, yeah. and this does. And this is really, macerated really, with those, really good with those sour cherries. It really did it, for right? Me. And I, I love like, cherries, especially oh, yeah. like real cherry flavor. Mm. It did really it for good. me. It did it for me too. I really liked this. Yeah, so I think it's a universal drink if I'm if I'm standing corrected here. Uh-huh. Yeah. And Trevor uh, grossly as he usually does, he burped into the microphone. <laughs> but I mean, I think I'm going to understand that translation to be uh it's a big thumbs up as you saw from his thumb up. I was just um, speaking um look at those little pig people from Star Wars, but now I'm oh, blanking. Yeah. I'm with the g- 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 Wayne, help me out here. What are they called? Yeah, what are they called? Okay. Comment down below, Wayne. Good morning. And I don't know. We'll have to see what Wayne says. We don't know. We can't <laughs> see the comments right now. But um yeah, so anyway, now is a great time if you haven't already to go ahead and click, clack, clickety, clack, 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 that like button. Give us a big old thumbs up if you liked the video. If you didn't, give us a thumbs down. But please let us know what you didn't like about the video and how we can improve. If you're going to give us bad feedback, we appreciate constructive feedback. That's what I always like to say. As well as we have noticed that a lot of you guys aren't subscribed. Please give us the luxury of earning your subscription. If we made you laugh at least once in some of these episodes, please give us a subscribe and uh, you know all the other things, uh, the share and all the things. We appreciate all the things that you do for us. And again, if you can't watch on the day the episode is released, just be sure to you know give us a watch at least sometime within the week uh, following the episode. Yeah. Um, and lastly, we ask for you to share. Um, you know, maybe you guys know somebody that doesn't know us that would like our content. And you letting them know about our content is a great way to do that. So we would appreciate any and all sharing that you do. Of the sharing video. is caring. We're on episode 10, guys. We would normally be saying we're wrapping up, but hey, you got four more episodes coming up. Yep. So you're not rid uh, of us yet. Yeah, we're still sticking around our old sick asses. <laughs> we were sick for a little while and... Uh, we're, we're, we're sticking sticking around for two more episodes. Yeah, but we've got some big plans for the, uh, the, the, the next, the next yeah, the, whole, the rest of the season. The next yeah. few episodes are going to be really interesting. So Yeah. Um, and then, of course, you always have stay what, tuned. what is now episode 14 this season. Uh, the LBR Academy Awards will be coming up again. And I think we have some really good contenders uh, this season for all the amazing shenanigans that's to ensue. So. Yeah, that's always fun. So if you haven't seen those before, check those out. Get a feel of what we're doing and just make sure to stay tuned. I can't stop. Yeah, he's got the Burping. burpees. He's got the burpees. It's but the cherries. On that note, um, I guess we'll go ahead and get on out of here. I'm Matt. I'm Trevor. And we'll be drinking with you. Cheers. See you guys. Cheers. Later. Bye. Thank you for watching Legit Brew Reviews. Feel free to watch any of our other episodes from this season found on the screen. As well as our playlist from previous seasons if you are new to the channel and our show. See you guys next week.